Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we will learn about Quick Search in Jira. Now, Quick Search in Jira is very important to understand, and the reason for that is basically it will help you a lot when you are trying to quickly search issues in Jira. You don't have to go to the you know filters and basic search, advanced search, or JQL to search for very commonly searched you know issues and terms. So we'll introduce you know or we'll have a bit of introduction about the quick search and how you can utilize quick search to quickly search the issues within jira now if you see at the top here this search bar here is the quick search bar right so to enable searching there there is a shortcut if you press the forward slash um, uh, on jira if you just press forward slash on your keyboard it will enable the quick search now say for example i want to open uh, one of the stories or uh, the issue using the key. So you, uh, what I have to do is ask, I have to simply type the key for the issue that I want to open and hit enter. And you will see that the details of that particular issue have been displayed, right? So that's how the quick search will quickly open the issue by the key that you search there. Now there are many other you know, uh, quick search feature. So this is about the jumping uh, on the issue. So if I want to jump to a particular issue, I can simply type in the key there and this will open that particular issue. So for example, RT25 will open the issue RT25 or it will go to the details of that particular issue. Now, if I want to search the issues in a particular project, so I have to simply provide the key, right? So I can simply say, um, RT if I know the project key so there this is one of the project key I can simply enter the key and hit enter and it will list all the issues that are present in that particular project so you can see all the issues ha are having that particular key as a prefix and will be displayed here right so that's another you know uh, smart querying or the quick search in Jira if you want to search issues that are assigned to you so what you have to simply do is you simply have to start typing my okay and as soon as i'll say my it will list all the issues that are assigned to me okay and if i simply want to say uh, search the issues based on uh, say for certain status so i can say my open uh, bugs and it will list the bugs that are in the open state or i can say my to do just in case i think to do is the status and then it should list the bugs that are in the to do state it's not listing at the moment so let me search for my closed bugs there is nothing as such but here you can see that the filter or the query is basically picked up automatically okay if i search by my done uh, say bugs then it will you can see that it has automatically chosen done and there since there are no bugs as such okay so it has selected bug automatically but if i say my done stories uh, it should list the story right so you can see it has automatically selected the current user okay and then done from the second keyword that i typed in and then the stories right that i provided so this is basically how it will filter out the issues based on the criteria that you specify in the quick search so my open bugs or my done bugs or you know my in progress bugs. so these these are all some of the quick search uh, terms that you can use now the second thing is say for example i want to find issues which are reported by me so i can say r and then colon and i can say me so in this case all the issues that i have reported will be displayed on the screen okay so that's another smart query which will help you a lot in the project so the next thing is around the overdue so for example i want to find the issue which are overdue already i can simply type in overdue and it will list the issues that are overdue right so due date was 4th october 
and these two issues are overdue and these two issues have been displayed just by typing in overdue here in the smart search or the quick search all right then i can also um, you know specify say for example created uh, criteria so i can say created uh, say yesterday okay and it will list all the issues that were created yesterday so you can see automatically this smart search populates the created date for you and all the other filters in this particular filter once you do the smart search okay so this is how you will search based on the created or updated or due due date etc that you can specify here as well so the next important thing is searching based on the priority so i can specify the priority say for example i want to search for the issues which are blocker i can simply type in blocker in the quick search and it will list the issues that are block blocker okay so blocker major trivial trivial based on the priority because um, i don't have uh, issues set in the blocker category so it's not giving any results but in major or trivial it should basically give me the results or the issues which are in that particular priority so in in this particular instance there are no issues uh, because i don't have the major or blocker but that's how you will be able to search the issues then you can uh, specify or you can search the specific type of issues so for example i want to uh, search all the bugs so i can simply type in bugs and it will list all the bugs that are available there okay so that's how it will search for the issue type so i can say stories and it will search all the stories that are available in this jira instance as you can see right these are all stories then uh, you can also search based on the resolutions for example resolution uh, I can say resolution uh, is say done so I can say simply done in terms of resolution and you can see that it has picked up all the issues that are in the done state okay now the other important uh, query is about the searching issues based on the fixed version or the fixed version that you can do as well and also the component so to search the issues that have the fixed version you simply have to go to the quick search and say ff and then colon and specify the fixed version say for example i have i want to filter the issues that have the fixed version 1.0 so ff colon 1.0 and it will filter the issues that have that fixed version similarly if i want to search the issues that have the effects version then that starts with v colon and then specify the effects version whatever version it is and enter and it will list the issues that have that effects version now there are no issues that have that 1.0 as effects version so that's why it's not showing any query but in terms of syntax that's what it is so v colon and you specify the version similarly if i want to search the issues based on the components so for example i have the you know database component or the ui component i can start with c colon and specify the component name so for example database okay and enter and it will list all the issues that have that component as a database okay now there are no issues as such which have this component that's why this uh, query is not working or it's not returning basically any issues it's it's working but because there are no issues that match that criteria so it's not uh, returning any issues on this ui but here you can see that component database has been selected automatically right so that shows that when we search the issues based on the quick search or smart filter it does select the filters automatically and then filters out the issues based on that criteria right so here you can see effects version has been selected automatically so this is how the quick search in jira is really helpful and will help you a lot in querying the issues in jira in much faster way as compared to going to basic search or advanced search and selecting the values or the filters from the drop down okay so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching